why breed them in captivity? Is this, is, are all those eggs you're hatching making a difference? Um, you know, there, the argument, of course, is there's not a whole lot of data to show necessarily that captive animals being around prevents people from taking them from the wild. Um, but that is part of the theory in some respects. But um, I think the, I think one of the biggest parts about the, the captive breeding and people keeping turtles is I think it's a great way to develop a respect and appreciation for animals to to learn to care for them and, and all that process. Um, like it's, it's kind of pet-ish, but kind of not at the same time, right? But I think a lot of the, a lot of the pro there is about developing appreciation for the animals. And if people aren't really exposed to them as much, which captivity I think helps us do, um, I think there's less people invested in, in them as well. Um, for some species, obviously the dream would be to eventually be able to release some things into the wild. And there are certain places that's happening, but a lot of the captive breeding is kind of being done in situ in a facility that's there, like in their native environment. Um, that'd be cool to eventually do with some species is to be able to get some back into the wild that way. Um, I feel like it's such a complex scenario. It's hard it's to... Hard to hit all the different points, um, you know, is, uh, so I'm going to kind of go off on a little tangent here. 